See if Rao can win this one for the Gopher fans. Concerned every faceoff. 69 seconds left. And Rao wins his faceoff. And Shea's going to clear it down. No, glove by Schmaltz. Schmaltz. Kajula. Kajula. Schmaltz. Great. Here comes Fashi with Rao. Fashi to cross, but Kajula, the forward, breaks it up. Gophers almost had a chance there. Under a minute to go in regulation. Parks. Of course, we play sudden death hockey until someone scores. Schmaltz. Kajula has room. Fires! Saved by Wilcox. McMillan digs at it. Can't get it to go. You gotta stay in front of Wilcox. You can't let him have that lane to come out and make the save. You gotta keep him back in the blue area. He's really aggressive right now. Good puck movement here by North Dakota. Right there, he's seeing that puck. He, the green sweater's gotta be right in his vision, not to the side. Don't be waving your stick at the puck. Get right in front of him so he can't come out and play it. Face off to the left of Wilcox. Grimaldi. Condon tries to get it. Can't. Grimaldi chips it to himself. Keeps it in. Grimaldi. To the slot. Grimaldi. But it's chipped away nicely there by Boyd. Number 22. Still time. 25 seconds. One more chance for North Dakota to come up, set up, and maybe get a shot or two on goal. Matson will ring it around, and Luke Johnson will try to battle with Marshall. It comes up, Ledoux, shot, tipped, rebound, saved by Wilcox. Man, these pucks are barely sticking to his sweater. Wilcox wasn't sure he had this. He thought it was underneath him. But again, he just, if you don't know where it is, just stay tight. Hopefully it'll be underneath you. If you move, he might knock it in the net. Better job of screening right there. He had to move to the side to find the puck. He found it though. Oh, there was a tip too, John. Ooh. Wow. Four shots on this power play for North Dakota. Grimaldi. He's gotten better at draws, but Ryle's been sensational. See if Grimaldi can win this back to Schmaltz. To the side. Great job by Ryle again. Shea chips it up nicely. Here come the Gophers. Can they make it in time to get a shot? Ryle blocked. Rebound. Oh, shot. Score! Justin Hall, I think he beat the buzzer. Of course, we'll take a look at this. Minnesota is off the bench. A giant pile on the blue line. But it appears Justin <laughs> Hall has won the game. Yeah, this might be a little premature, Johnny. I think they, it's close. There might be time left on the clock. Obviously, there has to be some time left on the clock for the goal to count. Whether it's a tenth of a second, yep. two tenths of a second. But the game really can't be over. It's either overtime or point something. Hall gets it, kicks it to his tape. This is gonna count. It is clearly in with point six to go. So the game's <laughs> not over. There'll be a face-off. This is crazy. This is crazy. Off the it's post. Unbelievable. Oh. Point six seconds will remain. There'll be a face-off. But for all intents and purposes, Minnesota is going to the championship game. Wow. This this game. Justin uh, Hall had no goals during the regular season. This is his 38th game of the year. He's going to score his first to win the game. And a face-off in Minnesota's end, 200 feet from the goal. The puck comes to him. Good quick wrist shot. All they have to do is look at our overhead shot with the clock and their answer. Watch the rebound come clear. right there. Watch Hall kick this to his tape, Barry. Hall gets it, the defenseman join oh. the rush. Everybody trying to block the shot. Oh. And the, but the game can't be over. The game no, is the game's not, not over. over. The game's not over. The Gophers got to get back on the bench. The so game the, is not over. So the Gophers should actually get a two minute penalty. They might. Or delay a game. It probably won't matter. Point six to go. I don't think. Jerry York couldn't come up with a play to score with three seconds. Almost. Left. I don't yeah. think they can do it with point six seconds. Of, uh, we see a goalie get hit three times in the melon tonight. We see a stick fly 100 feet straight up in the air. Justin Hall, senior from Minnesota. Again, didn't score all year long. And he had the first good chance in the game, Johnny. Remember that three on two Played that was great. created? Yeah. He joined the rush. Point six seconds ago, and boy, North Dakota plays their heart out. And for the second straight year, that's the photo. Well, we saw that photo you, last year when Yale beat them. You'd, you'd think with that amount of time, Minnesota would just get this, get it out of the zone, just chip it in and get ready for overtime. 
Maybe North Dakota wasn't expecting to try and score. Unbelievable, just a bounce went their way, shot blocked, it comes to Hall, and just like that, Minnesota survives the ultimate nail biter against their That's most heated robbery. Devastating loss for North Dakota. Coach Hackstall's lost before. They come every year. They haven't won since he's taken over the program. Devastating loss. You can just tell the, the kids. They are stunned. They I'm are, stunned. They are absolutely, I mean, they're frozen. It takes a lot to stun me. I'm stunned. They are frozen at the frozen four. I mean, they can't move. They, they had a power play. <laughs> With the la in the last two minutes of the game. Just stunning, and Gothberg, he can't get up. He is so stunned and overwhelmed. That was a perfectly played shot by Hall. Off the post and in, far post and in. Along the ice, a centimeter inside that post. 